created, I think, is a modern mythology. Uh, James Bond is the Tarzan of the 1960s. Uh, he is the Superman mm -hmm. image. Everybody wants to identify as Superman. I think we live today in an age of violence, and James Bond exemplifies the hero in an age of violence. <laughs> What has been your reaction, gentlemen, to the intense scrutiny of the James Bond phenomenon that's come up in the last few months? Whole books written about the phenomenon of James Bond. I think it bears up the fact that we've guessed right. We, we, we've we started a, a, a entertainment trend, and uh, the Kingsley Amos book, for example, I, I, I agree with. I think it's... Uh, unusual so early in a career of a literary character to give it the treatment they give Sherlock Holmes and uh, it flatters us, I think. Do you have a personal reaction, Mr. Broccoli, to the, uh, uh, the study the of... The only, rea the only reaction I have is in reference to these pictures and the books is to keep making them better all the time. It's not easy to put production values back into these pictures after Dr. No to increase the production value, the entertainment, and on top of increasing the entertainment, to bring new faces to the screen, and not old tired faces that have been seen on the screen before. Speaking of new faces, was Sean Connery your first choice for the role of James Bond? Oh, no, we tested. Well, he was our first choice. Uh, was our, even though it was our final choice. Final choice. I mean, we tested many, many... We people. tested about 30 people. We looked at several hundred people. What were the um, actor's qualities in Sean Connery that appealed to you? No, the one Before thing that, you had the, the placed one thing him in the that Bond appealed role. To, to us both, and, and one of the things that appealed to me was the way he moves. The That's way true. he moves. He moves, he moves like... For a large man, he moves extremely like well. Like a cat. He moves very well. He had, he had acting ability, he had experience, he was the right age. Uh, I might tell you, we had a lot of opposition when we picked him from everybody. Did you? Uh, but Everyone, of course, had their own opinion of what James Bond should look like and sound like. And how it was a kind of an idea that from books that he was a uh, very well-bred, well-educated, very erudite gentleman. And actually, in the books, he isn't. Uh, he has rough edges. Yes, quite. He doesn't read. He doesn't. Uh, actually, Ian Fleming's picture of him was not as a educated gentleman. Well, there was a general feeling that he should be the, the school tie hero here in, 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 in England. And he isn't. You know, he is exactly what you see, in our opinion, on the screen. Ian Fleming summed it up. Tough. He's a blunt instrument. Mm hmm. Force of nature. And uh, we try to keep him in that. Image. Mm -hmm.